<laughs> he says, I do. Uh, what is to say, if we were this brilliant species that we're imagining, maybe they have access to a fourth dimension. A fourth dimension. You know what a fourth dimension would do for you? This is just cool, ready? I'll take you there. So, you have your desk. Some people still work on a desk, and everyone's got laptops and things. There's a desk, you have papers, and you put papers on the desk. Well, there's only a limited area on the desk to fit the papers, okay? If you live in the surface of the desk, you see these papers showing up. And then the entire surface of the desk is covered. And you, since you're only living in the two dimensions of the surface of the desk, you'll say to yourself, the desk is full. You can't fit any more papers. But you live in a higher dimension. So what do you do? You bring in a vertical organizer, and now you can continue to put papers on the desk, but you're stacking them <laughs> bottom to top. If you live in the desk, you cannot even see this because it's tapping a dimension you don't have access to. Magically, the person whose desk this is has shoved papers into a third dimension, enabling them to still be over the desk, but not in the desk, not in the desk's surface. And so now I think you have warehouses if we just open access to a fourth dimension, it would be a door. You'd open the door, put something in it, close the door, you come around here, there's nothing on the other side. Because it access a fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is right there next to you, you just can't see it. And so each dimension gives you this kind of access. And that would just be so cool. <laughs> I 100% agree. I think the audience will agree. Okay. <laughs>